Hey, Bobby D here. Put a little video together today about Facebook and some of the things that I see on there. And some of the stuff that I, I think is really not working is what I want to talk about today. See, I look at myself as an average person and I go by this theory. If I think, if it's uncomfortable for me, then I believe that it's going to be uncomfortable for most. So, I think the biggest challenge in, in using Facebook, especially for network marketers, is that as a network marketer, you feel like you've got the secret. Like you have just, especially if you're brand new to the industry, you get involved and you say to yourself, oh man, this is it. I mean, everyone needs to hear about this amazing vehicle. You mean I can build a business part-time? I can, I don't have inventory, I don't have much overhead. I can, I, I can earn revenue off the efforts of, of hundreds. I, I got the secret formula. I got to get it out there. And you start believing that everyone is just going to fall in line because you've discovered it. So you think everyone else is going to discover it. <clears throat> Wrong answer. It's just not the way it works. I mean, you think, about the, think about it from a perspective like this. In the real world, you know, in network marketing, again, you look at other people that are just living the, the average life as they've got a disease. You know, they've got the poverty mentality where you're trying to convert them to an entrepreneurial mentality. But think about the real world for a second. Now, think about alcoholics, drug addicts, people that are addicted to smoking. Now, everyone knows that those things are bad and they're harmful. They're going to lead to death, probably early death. But go ahead and try and be the one to convert an alcoholic. How would you do that? How do you go about converting an alcoholic? How do you go about converting... A, a drug addicted person, someone that's addicted to cigarettes, how do you change them? You don't. They change themselves. A light bulb goes on in their head. Now, I'm not saying you might not later on have an impact in helping that person because you can. But here's the thing if you look at it from a network marketing perspective, what you're doing on Facebook is you're trying to click on, become friends with someone, which is really not a friend, it should say an acquaintance. You're trying to bombard the alcoholic instantly by saying, hey, stop drinking, look, what's, look what I have for you. doesn't work. I see so many people on Facebook destroying their reputation by just flooding people's inboxes with, with, with hyped up stuff. And it just doesn't work. See, I'm an example. I'll accept your friendship. I get 10 or 12 people requesting my friendship a day. I'll accept almost everyone. I'll even, I like to reach out. I like to look at groups and see common interests. You know, I love people that are involved with, with success-orientated uh, groups, so I'll click on them to try and request them. But here's the thing. It doesn't mean because I'm part of your group that I'm going to be involved in what you do, and if you're constantly overwhelming me with this hyped-up craziness, before you ever got to know me, then how am I supposed to get involved with you? I mean, think about it. Why don't you do this? Why don't you take some time? See, this is hard. Why don't you take some time? Maybe get to know me a little bit. Maybe make a comment on one of my photos. Maybe take a look at the baseball field that I built, and you'll, you'll discover what a passion that I've always had for that type of stuff. Maybe look at one of my pictures of the kids and say, Wow, you know, that's a way... That you, you can effectively lure me into potentially getting involved with you. Now, that doesn't mean I'm getting involved in your network marketing business, but who knows? We build a friend. Let me give you a perfect example. About, I'd say maybe a month back, Troy Dooley, who I, I believe is a great mentor for any multi-level marketing person, any network marketer, mlmhelpdesk.com is his website. If you're not following him religiously, you're making a mistake. About a month back, uh, he, he saw one of my videos, and he said, wow, this is great. And he actually posted it on his wall. I was very appreciative, because he's got, he, he reaches thousands of folks. Well, one of the guys that follows him made a comment on my video. His name is Jim Bartlett. And Jim said, Bob, great video, excellent stuff. And then, uh, you know, we, we just started a dialogue. Now, Jim, turns out, is a very successful network marketer, has been in the industry for years. I mean, the guy is a brilliant man when it comes to understanding the intricacies of the industry. 
uh, far better. Not even, I'm not even close to his level in terms of knowledge. We start building a relationship. Jim calls me, spends about an hour on the phone with me, talking to me about my existing company, the history of my existing company that I'm in now, and and become, we become friends. Now, about a week or so, so later, I look at what Jim does, and he's involved in a great company, great products. I give him, he does household, some household service stuff. Uh, I won't tell you partic in particular. You can go look him up and hit, let him share it with you. But I send him my username and password from one of my accounts, and I say to Jim, this is all via email, I said, go online, see what I have, and convert me to what you do. Now, they might think I'm nuts. What am I, crazy? He's a complete stranger. The guy became my friend. He showed. See, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. He showed he cared. He spent time. I don't care if it costs me 30% more with him. I'm going to do it. He's my friend. See, that's what you're forgetting. People want to do business with their friends. Just because you're a friend on Facebook doesn't mean you're a friend. you got to take the time and invest. Now, I look at people making so many mistakes. Like another example would be a guy like Jim who saw my video. A different guy would say, Hey, Bob, a great video, man. You would be great at my company. The company that you're with right now is not that good. It's, you can make so much more here. You know how many people do that to me? And I say, Well, that's great. I mean, that's the equivalent of trying to change someone's religious beliefs. Imagine trying to get a Christian to believe in atheist beliefs. <laughs> I mean, good luck, right? A Muslim. Convert a Muslim to Christianity. I mean, that, that's what some of these nuts are out there doing. Stop it. You want to build friendships, it takes time. It's a longer process. Longer process. But, uh, you know, Jim Bartlett, whatever he does, I'm only... I'm not, he, he recognized I'm never going to join his, his existing company now, and maybe never, but we've got a friendship, we can network together, you know, we have common interests, he's got a customer, and if he does something else, he may have me for, for whatever he does, because of the friendship that we built. Now, I'm going to close up. You have to, you have to stop with the overbearing, pushy stuff that you're doing. You know, think of it in this term. You know, you ever go to a store, and the guy's, Hey, how you doing? How can I help you? I mean, you just run away from that dude. Well, that's what you guys are doing on Facebook. You're creating an atmosphere where people are putting up the Red Cross and saying, I got to stay away from that dude or that gal. A little too pushy. Become friends first. Invest in the time. little chitter-chatter. And then perhaps... Something can cultivate from it, especially if the person's not in network marketing. If the person's not in network marketing, then you have an opportunity to get them involved, but not with, hey, you're going to make 500 bucks and 40. And people kind of run away. They don't believe you. They, first of all, they don't know you. They don't know you. So, so what makes you think? Maybe, the, maybe, maybe some percentage of the people will look at your link, but most of them are not only not going to look at your link, but they're never going to. Look at anything you have to say for the rest of your life. Poppy D.